Robert Kuak is also called the sugar king of Asia for having 80% of their Malaysian sugar production, which accounts for 10% of the total world production. Robert Kuak is one of the richest person in Malaysia and second richest in Southeast Asia. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, Kuak has an estimated net worth of $19.9 billion, making him the 48th richest person in the world. He also have another nickname that is King of Hotel, he owning has over 100 luxury world-class Shangri-La hotels at all over the world under Kerry Properties. The company owning by Robert Kuak are like Kerry Property, PBB Group, Golden Screen Cinema, Agriford, Kerry Logistic, Pax Ocean, All Green Properties, FFM and Wilmer International. Now we going to see what is the leadership style that found in Robert Kuak. We can find transformation leadership style on Robert Kuak. Transformation leadership is a leadership style where the leaders always encourage, inspire and motivate their employees to creative and innovate in the future of the company. The executive was giving the authority to their employees involved in the decision making. They are given the chance to look at the future and find solutions for obstacles and problem faced by employees in the workplace. For example, in somewhere back in year 1963, there was a risk in his business where excessive order for 200k tons of sugar. Market wasn't that positive on that time and causing a big risk for his company. Under the well-led and teamwork from the team, he managed to sell off all the excessive stocks and get rid from the risk. Upon his leadership style, he has given a clear vision to his team for them to work out and solve the problem. This show that Robert Kuak is a transformation leadership. Democratic leadership also can be found on Robert Kuak leadership style. Democratic leadership, also known as participative leadership or shared leadership. This is a type of leadership style in which members of the group take a more participative role in the decision-making process. This type of leadership can apply to any organization, product, team and so on. We can found democratic leadership style in Robert Kuak because he respects every people from his team, he will discuss his decision to his team member before he proceed with it. Before he made any major decisions he will involve with his management team, he listens to his team's ideas and have a thorough discussion with them. This leadership can gain more outcome from the employees because members of the group feel more engaged in the process and express their ideal and opinion toward the task assigned by the company. Next is the organization structure and the company of Robert Kuak. He used the narrow span to control the management of organization. The span of control which mean the number of subordinates who are working under one manager. Narrow span which mean of management the number of the people of reporting to a manager is comparatively low. Robert Kuak is only suitable by using this method because his business field is very wide. The advantages for the chosen narrow span of control are more opportunities for promotion and career progression, able to maintain a closer working relationship with individual subordinates, increasing their motivation and commitment, easier to control a smaller number of subordinates and easier to know what subordinates are doing and what problems are they facing. He also more prefers in using the theory X and treating their workers. Theory X refer to managers tend to take a pessimistic view of their people and assume that they are naturally unmotivated and dislike work. As a result, they think that team members need to be prompted, rewarded or punished constantly to make sure that they complete their tasks. Robert Kuak believed that high amount of wages and strict supervision can encourage workers to work properly. Without this, employees dislike work and avoid to work. Furthermore, the employees must be threatened with punishment, to ensure they put in the maximum amount of effort. Robert Kuak had said that the key of his success in so many business fields is the contribution of his workers from upper level to lower level. Therefore, 
If his company gain profit every year, the reward or bonus must be prepared to every worker because this is the contribution from their workers toward company. In this assignment, I had done some research on Robert Kuak how he can be the richest person in Malaysia and how he manages his business in so many field. He can be said as a very intelligent businessman and have a very foresight eye which always can see what others can't see and be the first person to take risks since he is the first person who invest in the Malayan sugar manufacture in Perlis. He is a very fairness person who treat every worker very fairly from upper level to lower level. Finally, we can try to learn the characteristic of the Robert Kuak how he wants to manage a business in so many fields with a person ability, how he controls his workers so on.